Hey YouTube, just finished up my new chicken tractor. I wanted to shoot a video showing you guys what it can do, tell you a little bit about how I built it, because um, as you can see, it's pretty unique. Before I go into too much detail on this new one, it's best to just talk about why I built it. Back there, you can see my old one. I've got a video I shot, I think, two years ago about that. I'll put a link to that video in this description. Um, but this one has some problems. It's uh, four by eight, so it's pretty small, which uh, was very tough to keep anything more than three chickens in there. It's also extremely heavy and very hard to move. So I got sick of just trying to lug that thing around and fight it up over little hills and stuff like that. Uh, it also couldn't hold very much food or water especially if you wanted to try to keep it light. So those are the three main problems, heavy, small, and didn't hold enough food and water. The positives to that one though, were that it was um, very cheap to build. I built it using all just scrap material, as you can tell, and it was very safe. That thing was built like a tank, so I never lost a chicken to any kind of predator in there. All right, now on to the new one. So first problem, the size. This one is six by 12, if you count the whole thing. Um, the outside part of it is 6x9, so quite a bit bigger than that one, and then the inside is 3x6. Give you a quick tour of the outside. Obviously right here, I've got a little access door, that way I can get in if there's ever a problem with the chickens. Also if I need to access and clean out like the food or the water spot, I'll explain those to you guys in a minute. Over here on this side, there's an access door. Right here, inside there is the layer boxes and the water. So let's actually start there. I'll open it up and show you guys the laying boxes and how I did the water system first. All right, as I mentioned in the beginning, the other coop uh, doesn't hold very much water. So every second or third day I had to keep refilling the water. I got tired of doing that. So this one, if I open up this door, this one has a, you see that? Yep, right there, has a 12 gallon water tank in it. So that's so far uh, seems to hold about enough for three weeks worth of water. Plus it stays clean, uh, there's no way for bugs to get into it. It's pretty ideal. From there, the water runs down this hose. Let me take you off the tripod real quick. Runs down that hose inside and goes to those two little watering cups. Right there and right there. Those are the type where the chickens just peck in there and then those little yellow um, nubs open up and let the water fill in. So those work really nice to keep nice and clean and they don't waste a whole lot of water. Now to fill this thing, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So I wired in this little pump and it uh, runs off 12 volts and it runs into this little switch. I have a big long piece of hose right here. So all I have to do is snake that hose out, put it into a bucket of water, flip this switch and you're gonna hear it. Yeah, it's trying to that's it. Fills itself up with water. Takes about two minutes to take a five gallon bucket and put it in there. And then I'm good to go for about three weeks. Now, like I said, it holds 12 gallons, but I usually fill it up when it's, when it's halfway empty. So, uh, and then there's two layer boxes there and there. For whatever reason, the chickens just use one. Um, right now I have five chickens in here, so I could hold more than five chickens if I ever want to. Uh, and someday I might. Now, another thing I did is in every opening there, there and even up here above the water tank, I wired in LED lights because at the beginning of the season, at the end of the season, I'm typically out here trying to get the eggs, check the water and check the food after dark. So that's nice. All right, now onto the back of it. This is the main door for seeing inside the coop. Opens up really wide, let me step back. Opens up really wide so cleaning's very easy. Has two, excuse me, back up, back up, back up. Has two um, roosting bars right there for them. Again, like I mentioned, the whole thing has got LEDs, which are actually, I forgot to mention, they're wired in with little magnetic switches. So every time the door opens, the light turns on. Um, I've got a, a door, I mean, can't really see it behind this chicken, but right there, a door that opens and closes attached to this string. So I can, I can close it if I ever need to close them in here at nighttime for whatever reason. That's the interior, pretty basic from this side of it. Uh, cleaning's pretty easy, obviously you can just scoop out this area here. The only part that's a little bit of a bummer is they keep pooping up on top of these two areas, but that's not a big deal. 
All right, while we're back here, I'll show you guys the solar panel. So as I mentioned, this thing's got 12 volts power in it and it just charges off the one panel so I never have to plug it in to charge it up. This panel is overkill. That's more than I need to charge up one battery. I'll show you guys the battery section in a minute. Now for food, open up the sick door. So here's my food. It's just an old tote. I actually um, can't see it right now, but I cut a three inch hole in the bottom of it. I ran some three inch PVC down through it. I actually ended up using a toilet flange for the bottom of this so that it would all stay nice and tight together. And then that runs down and pretty simple. Oh, come on, camera focus. There it is. You can see the end of the PVC right there. You can't, the camera's not focusing, so you can't see the food in there. And then I took this old bucket and mounted that over the top so that the rainwater wouldn't uh, get in there and ruin the food. Now this bucket holds a little more than a month's worth of food for five chickens. So again, solves that problem the other coop had. I have a little bit of electronic stuff in here. That's the charge controller from the solar panel to the battery. And that just tells me the current um, voltage of my battery. This is another panel which I never ended up hooking up, which would tell me how much juice was being taken out of the battery at any given moment, but I didn't really care. So it came as part of the solar kit and I just never hooked it up. All right, now for the real electronics of this thing. All right, I'm not gonna go into super detail on how this is all put together, because that's really kind of a video all by itself. But the quick rundown is that this is, uh, I took apart two electric wheelchairs. That's an old electric wheelchair battery. A few electrical components I had to buy, including the radio controller right there, and a whole bunch of wires. When you put it all together just right, you have a coupe that can drive. And here's how you move a chicken tractor with one hand. All right guys, so there it is, a quick summary of it. Um, one more thing I just wanted to mention, actually two more things on this that I didn't mention in the intro, is that this is much better for the chickens too. I live in an area where there's foxes, coyotes, fisher cats, dogs, and um, I don't want to really let my chickens free range. So this is kind of a free range coop. Gives them all the same benefits. They have fresh grass every day. They have fresh bugs. Um, also, they're driving around my, part of my lawn, and so they're killing the bugs, hopefully the ticks, and they're fertilizing it at the same time. So that's a benefit for both of us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like. And I shot probably five or six hours worth of video footage of me building this thing. So if there's enough interest uh, over the winter, I'll, I'll go through all that footage and create some videos showing exactly how I did all the various steps of building it. So again, thanks for watching.